Here today I'm going to talk about miracles and cloud design. Uh, is it good in behind the boss? Yes? Okay. Uh, so let's start uh, with some basic facts about miracles. What are miracles? Uh, we can find uh, some of the oldest examples of such monolinear curves and cross in rectangular grids. So, such a kind of monolinear curves and knots in rectangular grids uh, are associated with them uh, were constructed using something that we call plates. This is rectangular grids uh, with the two sides, A and B, where A and B are comprising numbers. The first example uh, which are going to see is a snake eating its tails, and it is a classical symbol. Uh, from Mesopotamia, it is old, 2,060 years old. And as you can see, uh, this is that rectangular grids, and it is 9 by 5. And we have one uh, monolinear curve, uh, just one single monolinear curve. It is not the only example, a lot of such a kind of monolinear curves and designs and knots we can find in Egypt, in Greeks, uh, and here we have some example of chocolate center drawings. And there is a story that chocolate people, uh, it is the people uh, which are living in North East Angola, uh, which are well known for their beautiful decorative arts. And when they meet, they used to sit and talk and illustrate what they are talking about uh, with beautiful drawings on the sand. Uh, this story referred to uh, games, to riddles, and all this play a very important role in their cultural life and uh, transmission of knowledge from one generation to another one. Uh, here we have some more examples of chocolate set drawings, and it is light, but I hope you can see. Uh, there is a lot of motif from nature, uh, a lot of animals, or two peoples, and what we can see, it is the set of rectangular grids of points on equidistance, uh, uh, equidistance set of points in rectangular grids, and uh, these lines just going uh, all around them. Uh, here we have examples uh, mostly by just one curve, but it is not the rule. It is nice if it is only one. Uh, here we also have one bird, and here we have uh, two person, probably man and woman. How they can make it easily? Uh, this is that rectangular uh, grids of these, not points, but small stones. Uh, just put it on the sand, and after that, simply drawing all around them going around. We will see later how this can be done. This is also one example of an animal. And here we have so-called plates, which can be used as a, a shames or something, uh, models for producing uh, such a design. Here is the rectangular, oops, sorry, grid, three by four. And we can start uh, just around one point and go on 45 degrees until we get to the border and then reflect and go to the second one border and so on and so, so on. And after uh, step by step, we will close the, the curve. If, okay. Here we have some more examples. Uh, on previous slide, there was rectangular grid, three by four. And on the next slide, we have some more combination, two by two, two by four, two by six. And as you can see, it is not the rule that it is only one single curve obtained after uh, these rules. Uh, two by three, we have one. And if I go like, oops, sorry. 
if I go like this and here and here and here, I will close the curve and we will go all around all the points on this grid. But uh, let's see this example or this one. We will have two separated curves also here and two by six also here. So uh, there is a natural question. Do we know uh, in start if uh, we choose some pair of numbers, A and B, to be the side of these rectangular grids. How many different uh, curves or components on that mirror curves we are going to get? Any idea? Yes? Uh, if there are prime numbers, then there will be just one curve. But if they are not, Always two. Let's see example with three. Three by six, it is three. Three by three, it is three. Four by two, it is two. Four by six, it is two. So the solution is that the number of different curves or components in, uh, in regular square grids are going to be the great common division of a and B, as a very nice example when you are doing some uh, number theory <laughs> and prime numbers uh, uh, to give such an example uh, which can be uh, proved by mathematical point of view. Uh, here we have uh, 10 by 3 and we can go further in that direction and to produce as much as we want. Uh, it is not only Chakwe uh, people, it is also uh, famous uh, Tamil drawings. Uh, Tamil is the area in South India. And uh, during the harvest uh, month, Tamil women in South India draw designs in front of their houses. And they prepared uh, the ground and they set out a rectangular reference fra frame also of equidistance points, and then curves are drawn in such a way that they are surrounded dots without touching them. And uh, what is the nice idea? Uh, that culturally ideal design is to get the single closed line. Uh, this is one such an example. It is a decorative art. It is not only simple uh, rectangular grids of points uh, with squares, but it is also at the border with a lot of decorative design. Uh, there is another such an example. Uh, this one beautiful design, <coughs> uh, it is known as Tamil knots, and uh, when such a structure is uh, contains only by one curve, uh, which goes all around, all the points, uh, they call them Pavitram or Brahma Moody. And it is, as I told, cultural idea to get such a curve. Here we have some more example of Tamil Knots. It is light, so it is not easy to see how beautiful they are. Uh, in the first row we have um, pavitrams and here we have uh, designs uh, which is consist of four and three different curves. Uh, also not only it was Chakwe people, uh, Tamil and I mentioned uh, Egyptian civilization, ancient Greeks, and so on and so on. And the first example was from Mesopotamia. And also we have a lot of uh, examples from Byzantium. And also uh, Leonardo spent a lot of time uh, making a regular design uh, of a series of knot uh, so that the core may be traced from one end to the other, the whole feeling around space. Later, I will show you how to design such things. And uh, another one example, it is design of Celtic knots. Uh, here we have uh, some example in a rectangular form, in a, a circle form, and in a freeze form. And each of them 
in, is somehow can be constructed using mirror curves and uh, I will tell you now how to do this. The, uh, this is also an example of uh, knot design in a circle and also some design jewels and roses etc. So let's go back on the beginning the story about mirror curves. Uh, we need uh, rectangular grids uh, which is consist of these little squares. These little squares uh, we can put mirror on its end edge. Uh, first we put them together. I put these black points here just as reference points to see how it is all going on and to have connection with Tamil design and chocolate design. Uh, first, uh, we can imagine that on the uh, external border we have one side mirror. When I say mirror, I think uh, the situation uh, when you have a strip or imaginary uh, ray of lights which is going uh, from a uh, middle point edge of any of these squares, you are starting uh, at the angle of 45 degrees and you are going to the next edge and if you imagine that here you have a mirror, one side mirror, then you reflect it, this imaginary ray of light and on 45 degrees you are going further and you will go like here and when you came to this edge, the middle point, uh, you can imagine that here is another mirror and reflect it, your ray of light and go further and go further. Uh, let's see on uh, this picture, this is what I was explaining now. This is the group 3 by 4 and if you produce this group, okay, uh, I started here from this point, this is the middle edge point of this cell unit, this square, and if you are going further, you will uh, go, 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 go all around all the steps and we will close this curve because uh, A and B are mutually prime, it is three and four, so the great division is one and we will get only one curve. Uh, in order to get a more beautiful design this, than these straight lines, uh, we can uh, make them smooth so we don't uh, have to use uh, these straight lines. You can use smoothness like this. And this is reflection in one horizontal mirror. And if you are in a, a corner of this rectangular grid, grid you can also move, all, uh, move around this point. Let's see this example. Uh, we are going further, okay, we can produce a lot of such a design, putting this one side mirror all around uh, this re rectangle, but uh, after a few examples, and you are going to try to make such examples today on workshops in the afternoon, uh, okay, if you produce two or three, you will know all of them, and it seems to be kind of boring and you want to make some better design. So the next step is to put uh, two side mirrors but inside of this rectangular grid. We have two possibilities to put these two side mirrors. Uh, if you imagine this is one cell unit, one squares, you can put uh, two side mirrors uh, to coincident with uh, an edge of any cells so it can be horizontal or it can be vertical. Two side mirror, this time two side mirrors because uh, you can come from uh, this side and you can also come uh, came to, uh, to this mirror from another side. And also you have possibility to put mirror not only on edge but perpendicular to that edge, perpendicular to vertical edge so you can put mirror here or perpendicular to horizontal edge, so we can put mirror like here. Uh, what is going to happen uh, after we put such a kind of mirror? This was an example of two component mirror curves because we have one curve and another from this other side. And 
if we put such a mirror here on the crossing point of these two different components, uh, our curves uh, will be will became monolinear. So if we are going like here, then going up, and here, and here, and down, and we will close it. So of two components, putting one mirror inside, two, two side mirror inside of these grids, uh, we will produce much better design, more interesting, and also consist on, of only one curve. Uh, here are more examples. This, uh, this is how you can put these mirrors in these square cells. And uh, I showed you in previous uh, slides. And here we have another one example uh, of uh, successive uh, pos uh, p putting uh, more and more mirrors in every step in uh, grids two by two. So uh, this is example from previous slide, two, mirror uh, two components. And after putting uh, in previous slides, I put mirror here. And it produced monolinear curve, one component. But here, if I put mirror here, it is going to result in the same one component curve, because it is also placed uh, in the crossing point of these two components. And it is going to be a rule. If you want to uh, put together two different components, then it is enough to put never matter, uh, it doesn't matter is it vertical or horizontal one, but just to take one crossing point of these uh, two different components, put um, two side mirrors in, uh, in, that, uh, oops, in that point, and after that you will get one component of these two. Uh, what are we going to do next? Well, uh, on this way, we put some bilateral symmetry, but maybe we can produce more interesting design. So we can put another one mirror here, and after that here, and after that here, and to produce more interesting uh, mirror curves. It is not uh, the rules that... Um, okay, sorry. If we put mirror here from two components, we got one. But now we have one, and nevertheless, we put one more mirror here. What is going to happen then? Well, it depends on the position uh, and composition of all, all the component. Sometimes it is results, again, in two components, and sometimes it is going to result uh, in uh, staying one component curve. So it depends, it is needed to make some investigation. Uh, let's go back uh, on design of such a curve. So there is horizontal one mirror, two side mirror, and there is vertical one. But it is not beautiful because it is not symmetric. Our eyes, eyes and brain ask for such a things and such a design to be symmetric if it is possible. So it is not such a kind of beauty, but we can produce a symmetry putting more mirror on this side or just moving uh, out this one and we will have a good design. Uh, after that, the, uh, my lecture is mirror curves and knot design. So how it is all connected with knot design in this beautiful, those beautiful Celtic knots. Uh, after we produce mirror curves, we can introduce uh, the position uh, of uh, strips in um, this point of intersection by putting uh, upper and down uh, between two of them. So we are going, we are trying to make um, alternating, uh, alternating knot. It means if this go upper, then on next intersection point it is going down and upper and down and upper and down and upper and so on. Here is, oops, I didn't do anything. Okay. 
This is another one example, uh, just to show you that uh, it is not uh, the rule that all have been put into rectangular grids. Uh, so what did I do here? I cut these four squares and got another one uh, grid without these corners. And with the same rules, I'm going, but I'm putting one side mirrors on external border here and here and here. And after that, I'm going, this is, uh, th this has been done in Adobe Illustrator, but it, uh, it is also can be very easily done um, in any, any programs uh, for drawings because you can easily uh, make these rectangular grids and just put the lines and uh, convert it in a, into curve and just to give thickness to, to it and after that make some design. Uh, this is an example which is not up to the end uh, uh, doing to the final results. It is, there is no uh, position uh, in intersection point up and down, but still it is nice. Uh, this was an example that it doesn't have to be rectangular grids. And let's remember what was that rectangular grids. It was a set of squares. And this set of squares uh, is nothing else but the part of uh, uniform tiling, the tessellation of plane. So you put a part uh, of a set of squares. And another question is, does it has to be uh, does it have to be uh, rectangular? Does it have to be uh, square tessellation or square tiling? And the answer is no. Of course not. We can do it easily with any regular tiling. And not only that, but mirror curves can be constructed by any polygonal edge-to-edge -edge tiling T, uh, which is the part of an arbitrary surface. And uh, which is going to be the construction. Uh, first, we construct all different curves in, um, in that tiling. Uh, all that, uh, that different curve containing lines that to connect different uh, cell edge midpoints. And we are doing again and again until this tiling T is uniformly covered by, let's say, K components. Uh, then, if we want to get a single curve from it, uh, we place internal mirrors according to the following rules, which I mentioned before. Uh, any mirror which is placed uh, in a crossing point of two distinct components, curve, uh, connect them in one component, in one curve. And depending on the position of the mirror, a mirror placed into self-crossing, point of an orientated curve either does not change the number of the curves or break it into more. So there is an example, uh, one tiling, and we are taking the middle edge points and connect them. After that, what we get, it is a four valent graph, and in every vertex, if we came from this direction, we have three po possibilities to go further, uh, right, left, and in the middle. And if we choose to go in the middle, uh, we will produce such a kind of uh, curves. Uh, when we close it, it is one component, and it is possible to have more than one component, of course. This was example with two components. And after that, we are putting mirrors in intersection point at, uh, and uh, produced uh, after that one single curve. There is another one example, uh, how to get knot design from Archimedean uniform tiling. And these are example of those construction rules. I explain. Uh, so, if these are part of these two different curves, different components, and we put such a mirror, then this curve is going to go like this and like this, but somewhere there or there, they are going to be connected, so they will become one curve. The similar in this situation, and for this, uh, 
If we put such a mirror, it is going to be still one single curve, but if we put vertical one, it is going to break them into two. And let's go to some more knotted design. Uh, this is a work of uh, our student, Filip uh, Milanovic. And I said, our uh, professor Slavik Jablan and I used to give a course in visual mathematics for designers on Metropolitan U University uh, from 2007 or something. And uh, that designers, and still here we have some more students from Metropolitan University, yes, which were able to hear uh, this uh, this course also this year, okay. So they produce it without any soft, uh, without uh, any spe specialized software for that. Just as I told you, uh, in uh, Adobe Illustrator or any, it can be used in Quora or uh, Inkscape. Inkscape is free for downloading, so you don't have to have any expensive kind of software for this. Uh, this is 4x4, four four, so uh, uh, this is going to produce four different components, and you have to put some mirrors in order to get one close curves, uh, curve. And here uh, it is 3x5, so uh, at first glance, uh, this is going to produce a monolinear one single uh, uh, curve, which is going to go all around, but it is going to be boring. So after that, uh, the student put some internal mirrors here and here and here and here, and this produce very beautiful uh, design of uh, one knot, and also he introduced upper down position in crossing points, also here. Uh, this is the explanation of the previous slide because here you have one, two, three, four different curves and successfully you put one mirror in crossing point of these two, one mirror in crossing point of these two and one mirror in crossing point of these two and it is going to be enough to, uh, with this one, you make uh, one curve from these two and after that these two became one single curve so with this mirror you join it with blue one, and with this one, we join it with uh, yellow one. So it is going to finally to be just one. What else we can do uh, with, um, with mirror curves? Okay, we have, let's go back to rectangular grids of points or rectangular uh, tilings, and all these plates. Uh, which basically uh, standing. Uh, maybe it is not enough. Maybe we want to make some other kind of design. I will show you what I'm talking about. This is not a rectangular, so we need to, uh, to delete some of them and to join together some of them, to combine things. So what we can do, we can make some kind of operation it is not some kind of, of, of uh, operation. Uh, later, if I had time, I will show you how to connect, uh, connect uh, mirror curves with knots. And in knots theory, it is well known that this is direct products, products of knots, that this is direct sum, sum of two knots, and you can do the same uh, with uh, this mirror curves and plates, just put them together, but uh, strips to go in cross, and this to go in parallel, or to combine two plates so that you have um, overlapping in two squares like this. And all this operation, or just to put one square so that they have, um, uh, they have the same edge here. Uh, all this, uh, is going to preserve our curves if it was uh, consist of one curve, it was monolinear, it is going to be monolinear after this surgery, let's say. Uh, so here we have some more example of combination of such a, 
uh, such a plates in order to combine them and produce more interesting design. Uh, here is another example. It is also work of one of our students in font design. It is uh, the, uh, the first seven by five. After that, uh, they uh, move out some of them and put some mirrors. And after that, he got very nice design. Uh, these are some more um, instruction how to produce monolinear symmetric mirror curves because our aim is, as I uh, show you, to produce symmetric one because uh, in, in this symmetry it is going to, uh, to, to, to find the beauty of such a kind of uh, knots and uh, curves. So this is an example uh, that you, at first, you get only one component and uh, you have had one mirror here. Uh, so if you want to close this curve and make it symmetrical, uh, you should put another one mirror like here. Uh, if such a, such a point does not exist, uh, as in this example, then you should change the position of the mirror to put, this was vertical, to put horizontal one and to find symmetrical one points and do the same. This is more complicated design. It is also from our student Miroslav Z and he used it in font design and his own initials. Let's go back to Celtic knots and mirror curves. Okay. Oof. Not uh, when I start. <laughs> Okay, let's see about Celtic knots. Uh, here we have some example and some, uh, some grids uh, in behind of these uh, designs. And some shames, uh, uh, some, some basic uh, construction that can be used for a lot of Celtic design. Uh, today in the afternoon, uh, I don't want to forget, today in the afternoon we are going to start with our workshops. One of them is going to be about modularity and uh, optiles and uh, mirror curves and knot design by Professor Slavik and me. And we will have four groups and all, uh, during all summer school, every afternoon, you will have uh, different kind of workshops. You are going to be divided in four different groups. So today one group is going to my workshop, another one to Professor Djurjica, and so on. Tomorrow we are changing, and in the next four days everyone are going to attend each workshops. Uh, we, uh, we prepare for you uh, all this material and so much more on CD like this with plenty of uh, material connected with visual mathematics and also about all these things you were able to hear these days. Uh, so you don't have to make photos. <laughs> this is one uh, complicated uh, design of Celtic knots. And it is interesting because uh, this one seems to be perfect and it is monolinear, but if you look better into it, uh, you will see that it is not symmetric. If you look at these stands here and here, you have three times here and just one arc here. And what, is the, what was the problem? Um, this is, uh, if, you, if you produce uh, such uh, underlying uh, rectangular grids for such a kind of knots and put symmetrically uh, all these mirrors, uh, you will not get monolinear curves. It is going uh, to uh, be, uh, consist from two components. So you can see here one mirror and here another one and here symmetrically. But here on the left side you have two, but on the right side you have only one. And uh, this was a trick in order to get monolinear one, and somehow in all this beauty you cannot see that it is not symmetrical at first point of view. And I will, I will try to speak a little bit faster. 
Uh, we can use it for uh, friezes or plain not for, uh, not for ornaments and also for uh, Celtic circle crowd design and also for Celtic friezes which uh, should be classified not only accordingly to symmetry groups but also to some knot properties. Um, I will continue uh, with uh, miracles uh, that can be used for something we call Lunda design. And as you can see in this animation, okay, we have a rectangular grid of points and when our imaginary uh, ray of light is going, uh, the first square is black and the second one is white. So this is our this is our four square units with a point in the middle of it. You divide it in four different smaller ones uh, uh, squares. So if you start here, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, and so on. And you can think of it also as zero one zero one zero one. And after that, you can get such a design. Uh, we can go in opposite direction. If we see such miracles, we can make rectangular grids. Uh, this is five by uh, six, yes, and five by five. After that, to look and see, okay, I should put mirror here, 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 and so on. And after that, to reconstruct the whole things. So this is that rectangular grids which needs to have mirror inside. Go with this mirror all around. Uh, put black and white uh, squares or putting color in these smaller squares. Then uh, delete all the points and you have something uh, which is known as Lunda design. Uh, we can think of all possible uh, uh, placement of mirrors in rectangular grid two by two, and we will have uh, these five possibilities and uh, five Lunda, different Lunda designs. Uh, we can think not only in black and white, zero, one, but we can also for the very same uh, curve think uh, in, um, multi colors so it is not only uh, zero one but you can go uh, put the no the numbers uh, of the squares zero one two three four five six so what we have is zero one it is uh, it has been down done by the modulo two but sorry Uh, if we put, uh, if we uh, count model four, you you will get zero, one, two, and three, and you can put three different colors, uh, so you can produce multicolor uh, Lunda design. What is next? Okay, uh, we have such a kind of Lunda design. Can we produce Lunda fractals? Yes. So in every uh, black square, you are going to repeat the whole uh, starting design and you can repeat it uh, as many times as you want. Uh, usually it is enough to repeat it uh, up to six times. After that, the design is very clear and the fractal structure is very clear what is going on. This is a green one. Uh, this is also done by one of our students. And this one also. So this is all miracles and basic design and after some step. And also for industrial design, it is very useful. And this one, and this one, and uh, I will just for the second show you um, show you connection with um, no, maybe. 
with fractals. Uh, this is code uh, that I wrote in Mathematica software. Uh, our colleague Jay Kaprov is going to present this on workshop on Bridges Conference in 10 days. Uh, it is connected with uh, fractal structures, but uh, in very specific meaning. Uh, what was the basic idea? Uh, to start uh, with uh, just let me show. We are start with one black squares, uh, which in the upper right corner have white one. After that, you have four squares. This one is white, and basically this one is black, this one is black, this one is black. So you have three black and one white. For these three, uh, three squares, uh, you decided which kind of transformation you want to make with them. Uh, would you like the whole basic square to, uh, to rotate for 90 uh, uh, degrees or 180 or 270? Or you want horizontal or vertical reflection? Or you want a um, mirror in uh, main diagonal or the, the other one diagonal? So you have uh, several uh, possibilities to uh, make this transformation. Uh, here is where you uh, put what you want. So on the first square, I want a vertical reflection. On the second one, I want rotational symmetry in 180. On the third one, I want horizontal. And after, after I uh, give the basic code, I produce a uh, structure fractal, uh, fractal structure, and I can, uh, after that, look at the uh, last one picture and try to resolve which kind of transformation have been used in order to get such a design. Of course, if you change, uh, if you change here uh, the basic uh, uh, input code, you will have a different, different kind of such as structures. Okay, just the connection with Lunda fractals and fractal structures, which also use this square design. Let's go back to presentation. I have very 10 minutes, I think, Christoph. Now 10 minutes in my Okay. Uh, some more things about uh, uh, Knot design. Uh, yesterday we were able to hear from Professor Slavik a little bit about modularity, which is uh, very basic things in nature because all, all living uh, beings and everything try to uh, not to waste energy and to use principle of modularity in order to, to save some kind of structure. And also for knots, uh, it is enough to have these five different models in order to produce uh, any, any knots which, which is connected uh, with um, square tilings. And we will also, you will be able to have this workshop also in producing such a kind of crowds. And I'm going to end this lecture but some, by some elements of knot theory. Uh, these are some examples also uh, done by, by our students from Metropol Metropolitan University. As you can see, uh, this is one mirror curve, basically for Celtic design. And this is also with the cylinder uh, strips and uh, in some kind of design. Uh, also this one and this one. This is in another one software. This one also very beautiful. Uh, also this one. Uh, this is all produced in one software uh, called Not Plot, and I will show it to you. You have link on DVD for this software. Uh, the name of the software is Knot Plot. You have this main menu. Uh, 
if you're going on main menu, uh, here you have some beautiful uh, example of torus knots, for example, for example, let's see this one. Uh, here also you can change a lot of uh, parameters. You can uh, draw, draw it of your own. Let's go back to the library. Uh, what is the point about torus knots? Uh, this is the library of all possible knots. But let me go back here. Let's see this one. It is two component links because it has two components, so it is not knot, it is link. And if you look uh, at him, uh, you will see uh, several times going on meridian direction and several times going on longitudinal direction. So every torus knot is denoted but by MN, which denotes uh, the number of meridians and number of uh, longitudinal curves which are going uh, on the torus uh, connected with this kind of torus. I don't have time for this. Demo A, uh, let's say, for example, something that is called guess knot. I guess, which is it not or not? Is it not or not? <laughs> not knot. Uh, what? In uh, such, a, such a design, you don't know, is it really knot? Maybe you can just make something of it and it is going to unknot. Find out. It is so-called relaxation, ambient isotopy. You can just move it all around. So this is circle, this is unknot. And, um, Let's see another one example. Well, this is a trefoil. It is not, you can not doing any better than this. Um, what I wanted also to show you, sketch. Yes. Oops, sorry. Mm. You can construct them. Uh, you can have different kind of categories. Uh, uh, you can also here have smooth representation of all of them. Uh, you can edit some parameters. And let me see for the, just to show for the Celtic design uh, what can be used. Uh, there was an option in um, Sketch uh, to draw Celtic knots, and if I use this uh, menu, I will got these rectangular grids, and by putting my mouse everywhere, I can put the mirror. I can add one, or here, or here. I also uh, can create my own regular grids, so this is five by two, and I tell them to, okay, okay undo. Sorry. Um, let's see this. This was uh, an example of uh, Celtic design uh, you were able to see uh, on my previous slide about Celtic knots and design. And uh, here are these two mirrors and here is this 
only once if you remember these tricks about symmetry. Also, uh, what is nice, you can copy this to uh, area and get uh, design in, um, in main menu. Uh, also, you can uh, here uh, choose uh, prepared grids for uh, this Celtic knot design, and you can change it, change it, make uh, or delete some of existed uh, uh, two side mirrors or one side or, or, or ex on external design. And you can produce a lot of beautiful design. So thank you.